So I know many of you may have already heard this news and you're like, why are you talking about this, Heidi? This already happened like la this so last week. There's something that people aren't saying that I think is very important to comprehend. If you guys want to know what we're talking about, hit the like button. If you enjoy these videos, hit subscribe. If you haven't done so yet, there's quite a few of you out there that are watching these videos and you're not subscribed. Maybe you already subscribed when YouTube accidentally unsubscribed you. They do that sometimes. So today we're talking about MetaMask and their terms and conditions. Uh, you know, it's funny because no one ever reads the terms and conditions and it, you always can tell when someone has read terms and conditions for the first time because they're often shocked at what they're reading. And in this time it was misunderstood. And so basically MetaMask is owned by Consensus and Consensus offers a lot of different products. Some are able to be bought by you, the end user. And in their terms and conditions, there was some language regarding taxes. And they're basically saying, if you buy one of our products, we're gonna charge you tax in your transaction, sales tax. That's basically what they're talking about. But this was severely misunderstood and spread like wildfire across crypto Twitter and Reddit and all those good juicy places for crypto gossip that the, it was misunderstood. People were thinking that MetaMask was going to start withholding your taxes if you weren't paying them or if you weren't reporting your cryptocurrency transactions, MetaMask would withhold your crypto until that was all cleared. Um, that's not true. They do not do this. Maybe that will happen in the future, and that is the point of this video, not FUD, just raising awareness of we tend to get used to abuse uh, in any form of the matter. It's really unfortunate that a lot of people make justifications because of convenience or they can put up with it. Um, and in this abuse, I'm talking about government control and the issuance of, I'm going to call them digital currencies, not the free market cryptocurrencies that we know and love. These are soon to come government issued digital currencies. And the fact that so many people were worried that someone could have physical programmable control over their cryptocurrencies if they didn't play by the rules, that scared them so much. My friends, this is a future that is coming. Um, this is not doom and gloom. I'm just telling you this is a preview. So it's something that we should be aware of. We should be uh, well versed in how this could play out. It might start slow and it might get more constrictive over time. Uh, but I think there is nothing wrong with being aware of something so that you can mentally prepare and have a plan B, maybe a plan Bitcoin, some might say. Anyway, that's my that's my take on this whole news with MetaMask. I know it's kind of old, but it's something that not a lot of people are talking about. And it's kind of ironic because it's like the future is staring you right in the face. Anyway, that's my that's my two, two Satoshis for today. Hit like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.